Hello and welcome to the Telescope. Every week we bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. In the background is an Audi e-tron GT, a high-end four-door coupe that is based on Porsche's J1 platform. Audi or the Volkswagen Group will move on to the highly anticipated PPE, that is premium platform electric, in future models. However, Automobile Woch, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, recently broke the story that Audi is in talks with manufacturers from China on purchasing a platform to speed up its process in the EV because development on the PPE is apparently too slow. A few days later, rumors begin to circulate that a Chinese manufacturer in talk with Audi is Iron Motors. Now, before I digest the details, may I just say that, putting my XPR hat on, I can smell Iron Motors corporate PR or government relations or public affairs, or whoever wants to play in that function is trying very hard to drive this rumor. It's just that everyone starts talking about this at the same time. That's great for a press release, but it's not the way rumors usually starts, is it? I mean, rumor usually starts with a single source and gradually makes a way to everyone. Like the initial automobile walk story, that is a rumor, but Iron Motor, the way you did it was a little bit too obvious. Anyway, onto this platform purchase, what does Audi see in Iron Motor? I bet not that many people have heard about this brand before. It is the high-end, pure battery electric vehicle brand of SAIC. Think of it as SAIC's NEO, okay? For the sake of this video, we will replace Iron Motor from this moment onwards with SAIC, that is Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation. That sounds more familiar. It is China's biggest car company. It single-handedly brought China's automotive industry into the modern era by becoming Volkswagen's joint venture partner back in November 1984. The SAIC Volkswagen was the first of its kind, this joint venture partnership with a foreign car brand. Nowadays, in the EV sector, SAIC is responsible for all of MG's electric vehicles. Yes, the MG4 that is slowly taking over Europe and the MG Cybuster just launched in Goodwood. The most high-end EV it sells is the Iron Motor L7. It has a wheelbase of 3.1 meters, rear wheel steer, 275 section rear tires, 605 horsepower and genuine dynamics tuned by Williams Advanced Engineering. The reason it doesn't sell very well currently in China is probably because of its interior design and compromised rear cabin. But technologically, it is more than okay. So Audi is facing delay with the PPE platform. Carrier's dreadful software will probably delay it even further. It needs a high-end platform right now from a well-established partner, preferably from an existing relationship. Bingo! Now SAIC doesn't seem that outrageous anymore. Automotive is a long lead time industry, especially with the Germans. So even if the deal gets the green light now, we will not see the first SAIC based Audi until 2026 probably. So this platform needs to have a lot of headroom for Audi to still be competitive in 2026. And I think the following motor is a very convincing piece of evidence. I first heard a rumor about a month ago that a Chinese manufacturer will release an amazing electric motor that in terms of power density will rival the motor on the Lucid Air. If you don't know already, Lucid is the runaway champion in consumer EV's electric motor. Their motor has 670 horsepower and weighs only 32 kilograms. That is 21.3 horsepower per kilogram. To put it into perspective, that is over twice the power density of the Tesla Model S Plaid, and about three times denser than the rear motor on the Tesla Model 3 Performance. Neo ET5's rear motor's power density is only ever so slightly higher than the Model 3. A smaller motor means more freedom for packaging, more space for a frunk or the cabin. A lighter motor means, well, lighter is always better in every regard. Last week, I heard from a reliable source that this manufacturer is indeed SAIC. They will detune this motor to only, only 500 horsepower and put it onto the rear axle of the upcoming Iron Motor LS6. That is a Neo ES6 sized 800 volt battery electric SUV. The fact that SAIC is trying very hard to succeed in the most competitive EV market in the world, that is China, probably reassured Audi that SAIC will continuously improve what it has and Audi could get all the benefit from it. 
I just hope that SAIC or Iron Motors can raise this game in design because Audi doesn't make stupid cars. They sometimes make boring cars, but not stupid cars. And most importantly, they don't copy other people's design. Anyone who thinks this Iron Motor LS7's rear end is an original design and it isn't a complete copycat of the Aston Martin DBX is lying. If in future, Audi's SAIC-based electric vehicle perceived to be a better product than SAIC's own creation, that would be quite embarrassing. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.